and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swish and I'm reviewing Microsoft. Uh, there was two trades in this today. The first one actually was up. Some people did get out of it with profit. I did not and then I retook it and then we'll go over here what happened. And the reason that I, uh, the reason I initially didn't get out of it is because I thought I had a bigger move which happened late in the day. And then secondly, the reason I retook it is because I really believe that the market was going to close rent today. I was right about that. And I'll do another video in the market or I'll talk about that in the trading room tomorrow. But I felt that, that the market was gonna close red today. And just like anything else, you know, when you're day trading, you take the trade, book it, take the trade, book it, take the trade, book it. So I was right on the target for this today, absolutely 100%. I mean, it kind of ran out of day. I initially said 202, ended up going down almost to 203. And this all happened extremely late in the day. Um, but it did take literally all day to go back down there. So this is what happened here. Um, actually, no, let me show you on this one over here. Um, anyways, you know, this was a short that dropped, fell, boom, did not break the low, but it was more than a buck and it was a good move. And I just thought it, I thought it was going to get down here right away. And I, and I, I was, I wouldn't say I was tight with the stock, but you know, either way, I think it, it, you know, it wouldn't have made sense to put the stop up here, which is really what it would have needed. Anyways, we had the stop here. So this looked fine. Good, 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 good. This even looked okay, okay, okay. And then here's where it lifted right into lunch. But then happened to take a look at it later and saw what it was doing, saw the market as well, called this on a 15 minute late chart and it just sold right off. So literally right off into the close and it was a really nice trade and I and and when you're in something really really late you, you kind of got to be careful let me just pull up the last few minutes here and again this is a day trade I did not call an option in this today I really thought that was too late because this is a couple of days down but here's the sell-off into the afternoon into three o'clock here's one more sell-off here again this is so late in the day you know, quarter four, but, and, and I thought this was a good exit, but if you held this actually all the way down, what time was this? 2.03.14 was a low. It would have been seven minutes before the close. That's, that's really late to be in a trade. So, but, you know, either way, wherever you exited this, to short this around that 2.07 area and get it down to 2.05, 2.04, if anybody ended up getting out of it at 2.03 and change, I mean, a really nice move here and a really good uh, second entry. So one of the reasons why I stuck with this today then and, 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 and realized that this was gonna go was again, the market, the market, the market, the market, the market, the market. I thought the market would hold red today, close red today. Microsoft is a market stock. Um, this did gap down. Again, that's what I do. That's what I teach in the Golden Gap course. This closed here, this gap down, sold off. So I will leave this be for now, although it'll be interesting to see where the market opens tomorrow morning, if it's up or down or flat, but great trade here, great late trade here in the afternoon. This is something that I do review in the Golden Gap class, the late afternoon trades as well. Um, not something that I do every day, but definitely paid today for sure. Good luck, everyone. If you're interested in the next Golden Gap course, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Have a great day.